You don't want to live a long time in a worn out body. You want to live a long time in that body that you had when you were 20. And so people often ask me my age. And I tell them with full seriousness, well, last year I was 21. Then I had a birthday. Now I'm 20. But I've been around the sun 79 times. Equality is out, but immortality is in. Everybody's talking about immortality. The instructions to be young are still in the cell somewhere. Mm. You may have heard of biohacking, the kind of DIY biology aimed at becoming healthier, smarter, and in a growing number of cases, younger. A leader in this quest to cheat death is Ken Scott, a longevity enthusiast who plans to live well past the next century. I take MitoQ, which is a form of CoQ10 senolytic activator, one vitamin B12 tablet sublingual. Well, I got into longevity over 50 years ago. I was in my early 20s and I realized, hey, I like being alive. This is a great place to be. I was healthy, I was young, I had optimism, I was excited about life, and I said, I just want to be like this forever. This is two mice, uh, same age. Uh, one, the one in front, is, uh, has been treated uh, with, this, with this novel class of drugs, which we call senolytics, for senescent lysing agents, so killing off senescent cells, while the one in the back was not treated. If you're not healthy, you're not going to make it. My nutrition is a key thing. You are what you eat. And so I eat essentially uh, a vegetarian, vegan diet. No fish, no meat, no dairy, no added oils. I do spend typically half an hour, 45 minutes in the morning doing Pilates type exercises or some weights, uh, some TRX. I want you to watch me stand up. Notice I'm not holding on to anything. A lot of people can't do that. And then I walk for half an hour. I try and walk every day using my little Fitbit 10,000 steps. Another example of something that we do that is not part of mainstream medicine in the United States is we take uh, what are called the Cavinson peptides. They've been shown to have an impact on five-year mortality. That is what percentage of people are surviving for five years in a particular age cohort. And the people who take the Cavinson peptides they have a much stronger survival rate. So there's a test going on in the United States. The people in this test are typically people who are medical people, but my wife and I are in there. We're not medical people. However, we're in the longevity space and we have a lot of credibility in that space. The way to think about it is that aging is rust and you are a very complicated metal structure out in the rain. To learn more about how the longevity industry is progressing, we talked to Reason, a longtime biohacker and anti-aging advocate, who is also the CEO of Repair Biotechnologies. You know, 20 or 30 years from now, this is going to be an amazing field and you'll be able to change genes throughout your body and all the rest of it. Right now, it's, it's, it's like building computers in the 1960s. You have to hand test every piece of memory. Um, nothing works properly. Nothing ever works the first time and it takes an awful lot of work to get anywhere. Many people in the longevity community, a sizable fraction of people in biotech now used to be software engineers. It's a, it's a mentality that says, hey, this is a complicated problem space, but it seems to be programming like maybe we can do something here, rightly or wrongly. You have this overlap between people interested in AI, people interested in longevity, and people who are in the venture and entrepreneurial communities. And they are sort of one engine within this community. They're not the only one. Um, there are other engines which are more about the people who are actually doing interesting things, not all of whom are, are well off, but Obviously, you have to be a little bit well off in the global sense to have time and money to spend on on screwing around with your health in this way. Jeff Bezos and others have put large amounts of money. Mm -hmm. There are billions now to figure this out. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the genie's out of the bottle. This is going to happen. It's just a question of when. We're going to be able to take me 
and not only keep me alive, but we're going to make me younger. We're going to restore my organs. We're going to restore my vitality. My hair color will come back. All of these things are out there. Universal cures for cancer, 15 years away, I would say. And five of those years are waiting around for somebody to get their act together and actually just start doing what could be done right now. There are lots of people of a similar chronological age. Mostly they're retired, they're healthy people, they're enjoying life, but at the same time, they're focused on a day down the road when they can no longer do it and they're going to die. I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on immortality, really. I tell people it takes about two years to get a level of knowledge that is probably helpful and useful. And provided you're willing to like uh, take a certain amount of personal responsibility for what you do, then have at it, I think. Like the technological bursts that I've been involved in in the past, I don't think this is the last one, and I'm going to be in the middle of the next one too. Do you know what your cholesterol is? I do not. When did you last have your blood work done? Uh, about a year and a half ago.